A lawsuit claims that the mobile app Snapchat was responsible for a high-speed crash. Snapchat is instant messaging with pictures, and most people use it for fun. But Jerika Duncan reports a few are snap bragging about dangerous stunts and violent crimes. 16-year-old Amy Joyner of Delaware died last week after being beaten in her high school bathroom. A student allegedly recorded the attack with a cell phone and shared it on social media. Some of us may not Senior Zuleida Zayas attended a vigil for Joyner. Social media plays a big part in a lot of what's going on nowadays, you know. It's cool to record a fight. It's cool to be on social media because of a fight, and I think that's, that's where a lot of us mess up. In Ohio last week, this 18-year-old allegedly live-streamed the rape of a 17-year-old girl on the app Periscope. She faces up to 40 years in prison for charges including the illegal filming of a minor. In March, near Tacoma, three teenagers were charged with raping a 15-year-old girl and posting it on Snapchat, an app with more than 100 million daily users. So this is how Snapchat works. You can take video or even pictures. Before I send the video, I can choose from a number of filters. This one will show you just how fast I'm going. Last year, 18-year-old Crystal McGee from Atlanta allegedly used this speed filter to take a selfie and show her friend she was driving 107 miles per hour. Moments later, she crashed into a driver who was seriously injured. McGee survived but continued to post pictures of herself while on a stretcher with the caption, lucky to be alive. I have heard teenagers say that things don't feel real till you see them on social media. Lisa Demore is a child psychologist. You're talking about situations where people are seriously injured. Yeah, yeah. And in some cases, death. It's so tough with teenagers because their better judgment can be overridden by their wish to be connected to their friends. In a statement, Snapchat said, we actively discourage our community from using the speed filter while driving. The company says a do not snap and drive warning appears in the app. But, Scott, that was not the case when we used the app as passenger. Jerika, thank you very much.